Imagine standing near the edge of an erupting volcano, the ground shaking, ash clouds rising, and the air burning hot. Nakakatakot. Pero amazing din, di ba? Did you know that the Philippines has over 24 active volcanoes and we sit right on top of the Pacific Ring of Fire? Ito ang tinatawag na fiery belt ng mundo, kung saan nagaganap ang 75% ng lahat ng volcanic eruptions at halos 90% ng mga lindol. At guess what? Nasa gitna mismo nito ang Pilipinas. Every mountain, every island, every tremor, all connected to the restless heart beneath our feet. The Ring of Fire explained. So ano nga ba talaga ang Ring of Fire? It's a massive horseshoe-shaped zone that surrounds the Pacific Ocean. Dito nagbabanggaan ng mga tectonic plates, parang mga higanting puzzle pieces ng mundo na gumagalaw sa ilalim ng dagat. Sa ating bahagi, ang Philippine Sea Plate ay dumudulas papailalim sa Eurasian Plate. Ang tawag dito, subduction. Kapag nangyari yan, umiinit ang bato sa ilalim ng lupa. Natutunaw at nagiging magma na siya namang dahilan ng pagputok ng mga bulkan. Kaya tayo may mayon, taal, kanlaon at pinatubo. Hindi lang sila random mountains. Sila ay living reminders that we are standing on a fiery foundation. The Philippines Fiery Core Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Bawat isla may kwento ng apoy. Ang Mount Pinatubo noong 1991, isa sa pinakamalakas na pagsabog sa 20th century. Grabe, halos bumaba ng 0.5 bad grade ang global temperature sa loob ng dalawang taon. Isipin mo, isang pagsabog mula sa Pilipinas na apektuhan ng buong mundo. Si Mayon, na kilala sa kanyang perfect cone shape, ay isa ring constant reminder ng kapangyarihan ng kalikasan. Habang taal, kahit maliit, ay isa sa pinakadelikadong bulkan sa bansa dahil sa kanyang explosive potential. Hidden Volcanoes and Submerged Caldera pero hindi lang yan ang mga bulkan natin. Meron pang mga nakatago, either natutulog o nasa ilalim ng dagat. Isa sa pinaka-interesting discoveries ay ang Apolaki Caldera, the largest known caldera in the world, natuklasan sa ilalim ng Philippine rice. Its diameter, around 150 kilometers wide. Mas malaki pa sa Taal at Pinatubo, combined. At sa ilalim ng Taal Lake, may mga submerged vents na patuloy pa rin gumagalaw. Scientists believe na may iba pang underwater volcanoes na hindi pa natin nadidiskubre, silently shaping the seafloor. Kung iisipin, the Philippines is not just an archipelago of islands, it's also an archipelago of volcanoes, both seen and unseen. The science behind the fire. Ang mga bulkan, hindi lang sila tanawin ng takot. They're windows into the Earth's heart. Scientists study them to understand how our planet breathes, evolves, and renews itself. Every eruption, every tremor, tells a story of movement beneath us. Yung lava, nagiging bagong lupa. Yung ash, nagiging fertile soil. Yung eruption, minsan nagiging beginning ng bagong ecosystem. So yes, kahit nakakatakot, may purpose ang bawat pagsabog. It's Earth's way of reminding us that life and death, destruction and creation, are part of one continuous cycle. Survival and preparedness. Pero siyempre, hindi pwedeng puro amazement lang. Dapat may kaakibat na awareness at paghahanda. Because living in the ring of fire means one thing. We must always be ready. Kailangan natin ng maayos na disaster preparedness, early warning systems, and strong community awareness. Marami nang natutunan ng Pilipinas mula sa mga past eruptions at lindol. Pero marami pa rin tayong dapat paghandaan. Through science and education, we can save lives and protect communities. Remember, it's not about escaping nature's power, it's about understanding it. Kasi kung alam natin kung paano gumagana ang mundo, mas madali tayong makakapaghanda. Revelation of Fire We live in a country forged by fire, carved by magma, and reborn by time. Ang apoy na minsan sumisira, siya rin nagbibigay ng bagong buhay. The Ring of Fire Revelation is more than just science. It is a reminder of who we are as Filipinos. Resilient, enduring, and forever rising from the ashes. So next time you see a mountain sleeping quietly in the horizon, remember, beneath that calm lies the beating heart of the earth.